Hi everyone, I'm Vicky Tether from Yellow Bee Sugar Art and today I'm going to show you how to create this cute model in a hijab. First of all I'm rolling the paste into a ball and then placing my finger just under halfway along the ball and rocking from side to side with my little finger. This creates a groove down the centre of the paste which you can see here. Now I need to remove the top half of that groove to flatten off the paste to stop the character looking angry and having a bulbous forehead. As you can see I'm just using my fingers just to smooth the top of that groove. I'm now using my thumbs to push gently into the groove to create two wells. These will become eye sockets later on. I need to remove the outer edge of the prints that I've left with my fingers so I'm just smoothing with my fingers and then shaping the centre which will become the nose. I'm just going in with the Squires Kitchen Dresden tool here and using that to enhance the shape of the nose and then using my fingers to remove any of the tool marks. Now that I'm happy with the bridge of the nose, I need to work on the tip, so I'm just pinching the paste into a kind of triangular shape here, and then using my fingers just to smooth around the tip, and then using the Dresden tool, I'm just pushing down across the bridge just to bring that tip out a little bit so it gives the character a button nose. I'm using the Serart tool to draw a line where I want the mouth to be. I'm going over it a few times to create a line that's about two millimeters deep. With a clean blade, I'm just going to cut along the length of that line and then use the tool to open the mouth and bring the top lip forwards a little bit. I'm using my finger to create the top lip now by gently patting and pushing the lip upwards and then gently closing the mouth using my hands. Next I want to create the bottom lip, so I'm just using the Dresden tool just to gently push down and up towards the line of the mouth to create that bottom lip. On either side of the mouth, gently push the Dresden tool in to create a hollow. You're aiming to do this below the top lip, so only on the bottom half of the mouth. And then use your fingers just to smooth away the tool marks. Use the Serart tool to extend the mouth out a little bit by about 2-3mm. And use the Dresden tool to lightly press in on the underside of that line just to accentuate the bottom lip. Every time I use a tool, I always go over with my fingers afterwards just to smooth off the shape in case the tool's left any imprints. Now I'm shaping the chin, I'm just using my fingers and thumbs just to shape around the bottom of the face and bring the chin in and downwards. I want this character to have a neck, so I'm gently pushing down towards the workboard to create kind of a little skirt around the character. And then I'm pulling that downwards and rolling it to create the neck. I'm now going back to the nose and using the Serart tool, I'm pushing in and then outwards to create each nostril. The nostrils were facing forwards at this point, so I just used the Dresden tool just to push them backwards and into the position I wanted them. To keep the eyes symmetrical, I use dots to guide me, so I'm just pushing in the Serrat tool on either side of the nose and then towards the temple area. This will be the upper and lower corners of the eye. I use the line that I'm drawing here just as another guide, so you don't need to draw it, but I just find it helps me. I'm pushing the Dresden tool in with the side of the tool touching the dot of the inner eye and then working my way up towards the dot at the temple, doing the same on both sides. I find that if I do it this way, it ends up more symmetrical in the end. I'm now using the back of the tool to go along the bottom, so starting from the inner eye and working my way up to the outer eye. I'm just using the small ball tool here just to smooth out and flatten the back of the eyes just to give them an even surface. And then I'm going to use the Serart tool to add the corners of her eyes in before rolling two balls of white modelling paste and shaping them to roughly the same size as the eye sockets before popping them in and then using my fingers to fit into position. Next up is the eyebrows. I've taken a small ball of brown modelling paste that I've rolled into a long teardrop shape and then placed on the top edge of the marks left by the thumbs right at the beginning of this tutorial. Then I'm adding in the uh, under fabric underneath her hijab which is just a pink sausage which I've patted and flattened to the top of her forehead. And finally I've rolled a piece of paste into a ball and then kind of into a rugby ball shape, used my thumb to create a well in the centre and pushed her neck inside. Next up we need to add some of the folds from the hijab, so I've rolled a taper ended sausage and attached that underneath her chin and now I'm using the Dresden tool just to draw in some folds and creases in the fabric. I've rolled out a long sheet of red modelling paste with the centre of the paste thinner than the outer edges. I've measured the paste against her head so I know I need to trim some away here so I'm just doing that and then I'm going to place the paste over her head with the thin piece going over her forehead. With the left hand side I'm just using my fingers to shape the paste so it joins in with the folded paste that I made earlier on underneath her chin so blending those together and then I'm using the Dresden tool to create more creases and folds in the fabric. 
Next up, I need to check the length and width of the other side of the paste. So I'm just trimming off the length there and then trimming away some of the width so that it fits snugly against her face. And once I've done that, I'll use the Dresden tool just to add some more creases in the fabric. Now we move on to the painting. I've mixed some Magic Colours Dust Colour in the shade Chocolate with some clear alcohol to form a paint and then I'm using a fine paintbrush to draw a semicircle on the top edge of her eye. When I start working on the other eye I usually start by drawing a really small circle just to make sure it's roughly in position and then filling it out depending on where I think the rest of the eye needs to sit. I'm now adding some white colour, so that's Snow White by Magic Colours, into the brown to create a really nice light milk chocolate shade and I'm painting that along the bottom edge of each eye. I'm leaving a slight bit of the chocolate brown visible underneath the bottom of that line there. Now I'm going in with the black, drawing a circle for the pupil in each eye and then adding a little bit of paint along the top edge of that semicircle. If you're the patient sort, i.e. you're not me, then please wait for the paint to dry before proceeding. Otherwise, you want to roll two tapered sausages of black modelling paste and then glue those along the top edge of each eye. I use a slightly dried paintbrush to guide the paste into position instead of my fingers because it's a finer tool. And then mix some white uh, dust colour with some clear alcohol and paint two dots in each eye. Wait for the paint to dry and then we're going to dust. So I'm using some cream coloured dust from Sugar Flare and a fluffy paintbrush. This is just a normal paintbrush and I'm going around the edges of her face just adding a little bit of shading in and then around the sides of the nose and up into the top of the eyelid below the eyebrow. I'm just adding some chocolate dust colour to the cream to create a medium brown and I'm going to dust that around her eyes to give her some makeup. I'm now using makeup brushes which are really handy because they have different sized tips. If you want to purchase these brushes check out the Amazon Associates link in the comments below. I've used Magic Colours Dust Colour in the shade Petal Rouge to dust her cheeks and the tip of her nose. I'm also using the same dust colour to add some colour to her lips and then I'm going over that with a little bit of the cream colour as well just to build that up and finally a slight layer of the Riding Hood by Magic Colours as well. I'm also using this to add into the creases in the hijab and along the pink band on the top of her head. And that is our model done. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please hit subscribe and like, and if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below.